As anglers, there are fishing destinations we dream of traveling to and fish we dream of landing. Growing up fishing for bass in Irish Hills, Michigan and Lake Erie, those kinds of places and those fish were just things I saw on TV. Now I've found myself living in Great Falls, Montana for the past eight years, fly fishing every chance I get, learning all that I can, and I'm even lucky enough to have a career in the industry. Now I'm no expert when it comes to cinematography or photography, or fishing for that matter, but when I was asked to get on a plane to Alaska to document my fly fishing experience, I said, yeah, I can do that. This is that journey. We are in Cooper Landing, Alaska on the Kenai River. Still can't believe I'm here. Um, I never really thought I would make it to Alaska. Obviously I've always wanted to, but here I am. And we're gonna be fishing the Kenai. We got five days to fish. Silvers are still running a little bit. Uh, obviously there's rainbow trout and then uh, Dolly Varden too. I'm gonna head back up to the cabin. I'm gonna get the uh, fish and stuff ready. Well, I'm gonna get the camera stuff ready. They're gonna get fish stuff ready. And then I think we're gonna roll here in a little while. So we will see you in a bit. Nice work, Fred. Oh, All right, I'm not gonna lie. Day one, the stoke was high, and I found myself with my fly rod in my hand more than the camera. I couldn't resist keeping my line in the water and my eyes on the views. But after some beers with friends and a good night's rest, we were ready to step back into the river. Yesterday, we got back pretty late and uh, did not do an outro or talk about what you know happened yesterday. But um, it was pretty awesome. I mean, we did, we did well. Uh, not as many fish as I anticipated, but caught some really big rainbows. One thing we haven't caught yet is a silver salmon, so that's on the list for sure. Fred's dropping some other guys off at a boat launch to go float with a guy named Chad. And then uh, he's gonna come back and we're gonna roll. So I'm gonna get back up there and get my fishing gear ready. So let's go. Adventure. How do you define it? This is what occupied my mind while hiking down to what we would call the wall. A secluded stretch of river not normally accessible due to high water. Where the only things you can hear is water rushing and the echoes of the gulls and the eagles off the canyon walls. This is a sweet spot. This is uh, kind of my idea of fish in Alaska right here. Big canyon walls, crystal crystal blue water. I'm gonna work up this work up this ledge. I'm gonna go around this log, see what kind of water we're working with. There's some big fish holding up tight to the edge here, but then they're also feeding out the middle. But it's it's pretty deep and running pretty quick. So I don't know. See what uh see what's up here. I'm gonna set this camera up.
Freaking awesome. There you go, man. G. <laughs> The day was winding down, and I decided to switch tactics. I left Brian and Fred at the wall while I ventured downstream in search of a silver with my spay rod. After coming up empty-handed for nearly an hour and a half, it was time to head back to the lodge. This is a silver salmon from the Kenai River. Pretty awesome. We're gonna eat it. It's going in our bellies tonight. Oh, well, right now we are about to cut into. While preparing the salmon we caught earlier that day and reflecting on how epic the wall was, I was still hung up on the idea of landing a salmon on my spay rod. I'll admit, I grew frustrated, but even more so, I grew more determined than anything to accomplish this goal. We discussed the plan for the following day and mutually decided on a couple specific runs that looked promising. All right guys, day three. We are back out on the Kenai River. Um, it's raining, it's cold. And back out here with Fred and Brian. We got a couple nymph rods, um, the spay rod set up and then we just got a normal nine foot six weight. We've kind of met all of our goals for the week. Um, yesterday was pretty, pretty killer. Um, but the one thing I haven't done is caught something on the swing. So I got the spay rod set up behind me and that's the goal for today. The rain's not fun to record in, the wind's not fun to record in, so we'll see how it goes. We're gonna get the GoPro rolling. Probably gonna be a lot of GoPro today just because of the, the weather, I don't want this. As you can see, it's probably got water drops everywhere, so get that cleaned off, and we're going to get going. I knew that was a good one. <laughs> that was a good swing. Oh. I'm not sure if losing that fish was user error or the fact that he just rolled and came unbuttoned. 
I think it broke. Regardless, I continued swinging my way downstream with no luck. Try again. Eventually, we were getting ready to switch locations, but we couldn't pass up the back eddy that we knew fish were held up in. I'm gonna try this seam before we leave. There were tons of fish in the back eddy, including a male sockeye that had yet to spawn. But the season for sockeye was over, so I had to return him quickly. All right, I'm gonna let him go right here. Brian and Fred landed a handful of silvers each. Plan C is working out okay. <laughs> nice work. Yeah, now we just gotta get this in the stream. We only had a couple hours left in the day to stop at the final run that we knew had good potential. But yet again, nothing. I came up empty. Even though it felt like I possibly botched my one opportunity at landing a fish on the spay, I stayed positive and knew we had another day. Good morning. We just finished up breakfast. We're gonna get going pretty quick because we got a, almost a two mile hike. Yeah, let's go get our gear ready and uh, we will see you at the trailhead. We just got on the trail and we are in the Kenai National Wildlife Refuge hiking down. We probably got two miles roughly to the river and then we're gonna start fishing. But then we'd have to walk back in all right we are we made it to ski like lake and uh we got this channel that is a little too deep to wade across it's like five feet deep in the middle uh so it's a little too much but we literally just have to get to that side and then the mouth of the kenai is right up here and then we can fish and then fred comes up with a brilliant plan i think it's gonna work What's the plan here, Fred? Well, if we can get enough logs together to create enough flotation, we just freaking get that short little distance. <laughs> We're home free. Then we can all we can fish our way up, hike around, and then maybe not even have to come back this way. Okay. But we got to get over there before, before our day can even start. Oh no. Oh yeah. That's sketchy. That's, that's enough buoyancy. Yeah, that's sketchy. No, I'm just looking for buoyancy. Now. Okay. Should we use the other one too? We're gonna add the other one. We may even add a fourth. All right, go get that one. <laughs> that was long enough that one guy from the bat could just literally push the other guys right across. Okay. All right, well, let me help you make this. <laughs> All right, so we found the logs to our raft. We're using this spool of braid to link the three together. And then, uh, we're gonna push each other across. <laughs> it's gonna work. I thought this was gonna be the easiest part. Right. <laughs> if you can't tell, Fred's trying to, Fred's trying to hook that tree at the base so when he sits on our amazing raft here, he can reel himself over to the side. problem to bleed. Where's Chad Pipkins when you need him? <laughs> There it is. They need to get that high. We eventually made it across the channel, but the lake level was extremely high. Every direction, there's something cool to see. 
We realized we couldn't reach the river and time wasn't on our side, so we made a new plan and hustled back up the mountain. Only the fly. Okay, yeah. I got everything else. You can pick a flush fly or you can grab another flare boo or whatever you want. But unless Brian wants to leave, I think we should swing here for a while because I'm fine. <laughs> I, I think the next hour we're going to hook more fish. the difference casting that tip at all or yeah it is a little heavier if you get behind it it'll actually send load even and better. send even more yeah. so I could see two boats on the island of the gravel bar but I could Adventure. To me it means chasing whatever it is you're passionate about, but not only chasing it, but pushing yourself to step out of your comfort zone and take on new challenges. It is the final day of fishing in Alaska for this year. For me anyways. Kind of crazy, it's the last day. I mean, it went by fast. I'm just gonna try and take every second of this and enjoy it, take it all in. Make sure I look up from the water once in a while and see these views because they're pretty insane. Can't thank Fred enough for supplying the knowledge and uh, the fun, the fish. I mean, he got us. He got us on this fish. So thank you, Fred. Any last words, Fred? Before we head back up. All I can say is this is a special place and I enjoyed sharing it with you guys for several days. 
And, uh, I need more. That's the best way to end a fishing trip is leaving when you still want a little more. I just want to thank you guys for inviting me. Fred. <laughs> yeah. Jay. Yeah. I appreciate it. I enjoyed myself. And awesome. I hope to come back again. Awesome. Right. Let's get it. At first, it seems almost impossible when looking at the big picture. But sometimes all it takes is that first step into the unknown. I've learned you'll never be 100% prepared for what's ahead. But whatever your adventure is, I say go after it, good luck, and safe travels. <laughs>